Welcome back to Story Time with Hajira. Today we are reading Friends by Eric Carle. So let's get started. Once there were two friends who were always together. Together they played and ran and danced and told each other secrets. But one day. The boy was all alone. His friend was gone. She had moved far away. I miss her, he said. Wherever she is, I must find her. Then he took a deep breath, counted to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and jumped into the swift river. The water was cold. The river was wide, so it took a long time to swim across it. When he got to the other side. It was already dark. The stars watched over him as he fell asleep. Zzz. The next morning, he saw a tall mountain ahead. He started on one side of it. The path was steep. It was hard work. Finally, he got to the top. And then he slid right down in the other side. Plunk! The boy landed in a broad meadow. It was a hot day. The grass was dewy, damp, and cool. He strolled through it. Ah! Then, all of a sudden, it began to rain. Splish splash! He had to dash through the falling drops. After a while, the boy felt tired. He fell asleep and dreamed that he was floating on a cloud. Hmm. He woke up deep in a forest. Dark shadow danced around him. He rushed out of the woods into a flower garden. He gathered a bucket, and there was his friend. I have found you! He shouted. I know you would come. She said. Together they played and ran and danced and told each other secrets. And. Got married. Today we are reading. Come with the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carle. So let's get started. When your monkey mind feels too busy, just stop. And breathe to clear the cobwebs from your head. With each slow breath, try counting from one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How do you feel? Happy, sad, jumpy, calm? Now let thoughts cross your mind, like clouds floating in the sky. Still feeling fluttery? Take a few deep breaths. And smile.
Today we are reading The Nonsense Show by Eric Carle. So, let's get started. Welcome friends, don't be slow. Step right up to Nonsense Show. I'm too wet, said the bird. I can't fly, it's absurd. I'm too dry, how I wish. I could swim, said the fish. Ouch! Who's that in my pouch? I'm sick in my tail. Can you see where it is gone? Hissed snake number one. What a coincidence! Mine's missing too. Hissed snake number two. I am supposed to catch you. Meow the cat. Yes, squeak the mouse. Of course, that's true, but you must know we're in a nonsense show. Oh dear, look here. It says no gas, alas. No gas? Don't worry, we're not in a hurry. What a funny looking ball, thought the tennis ace, and wound up with applesauce in her face. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four. And after that, how many more? K O. Okay. Get out of my house, said the dog. But where can I go? Barked the man. For all that I care. You can fly to the moon, but go soon. And that's why we've now got a man in the moon. Believe it or not. Upsie, downsie, nice and straight. Smile a mile. Bravo, that's great. Who's that I see? It can't be me. I'll tell you who it looks like. You! Let's trip heads, the rider said. But he he said the horse. Let's trip heads instead, okay? And so they did, of course. Hurry up, said bottom. Wait for me, said top. But they couldn't agree so they never did stop. Could a leopard change his spot to a tigerish stripe? Probably not. Would a tiger wish to swap his stripe for a leopard spot? Certainly not. Why is Mr. Up up? Why is Mrs. Down down? It's not a mistake. It's just how they eat cake. This yellow rubber duck I found has feet for walking on the ground. But don't you think that this duck outer get webbed feet to swim in water? The end. Bye.